Hey, this video is for the Anything Slider WordPress plugin. Um, Anything Slider is a is a really functional content slider that's written with jQuery, and I've packaged it up uh, for a WordPress plugin. Um, the way that it's packaged up for WordPress is that it, you can define how many tabs you want to add, and each tab is basically the most recent blog post. Um, you can scroll through all your blogs. Um, you can stop scrolling. Um, and there's there's buttons to go left or right, so it's a very versatile um, plugin. I've added two styles for it. The one that you're looking at right now is the actual default plugin, and then I have one that I styled that I use on my my con my website right now. Um, the plugin will work pretty much on every WordPress install. I'm pretty confident of that. But the style, um, there's no way that you can change the style for every WordPress uh, website since every content section is going to be different height and widths. Um, so you're going to be responsible for basically styling it out, and I've got some uh, some tips here on how to make it on how to style it, make it look really good. So first thing you'll notice is when you activate the plugin, um, it's going to add a, th a uh, an add thumbnail image post meta box, and it actually adds it way down here. Um, it, it's kind of out of the way, but as you write your blog post, you'll notice that as you add images to it. Um, the images will start appearing in your thumbnail image uh, post meta box. One thing I do is I like to move this uh, over here to the uh, to the sidebar, and that way I can easily see what images I'm using for my content slider. Now you don't actually have to add the image to your blog post. You can just save the image. Um, I'm actually writing the blog post for this content uh, slider right now, and uh, I'll show you how to add an image without actually inserting in the post. So select images. Um, this is the this is my baby all my baby pictures. So I'm gonna choose this one. Now the image that I use is the full size. You can go into the plugin code and and, uh, and edit it to use either the uh, we're not gonna use the thumbnail, it's gonna be too small. You can use the medium or the large um, but I've just chosen full size and then if I want to edit it um, I use the uh, I'm using WordPress 2.9, which has the uh, image editor. So if I want to edit it, I'll just use that. So I'm going to just uh, save all changes. So it's not actually getting inserted into the blog post. I'm just saving it, and it it gets associated with this blog post though. Um, if I refresh the page, the image now is over here in uh, the thumbnail images. So I can select it. And now, uh, before I can click on Preview Slider, I have to save draft, and that will save the main image as this new image that I've changed. And then I can click on Preview Content Slider, and it will basically show um, my baby with a snot <laughs> and drool coming out of his nose. Um, and you'll, you can see how it's going to look. And so I'm not very happy with the way that that looks, so I'm going to go in and actually edit this image. You go back into your, uh, your image editor, and I'm going to go to Gallery. Uh, show this this image. I'm going to click on Edit Image, and basically I'm going to crop him down. So I'm going to crop him down. Um, so it centers the image. So the, the the content slider is actually made up of two divs. The left div is 50% wide, and then the right div is 50% wide. Um, the left div shows the image, and it's centered as a background image. Um, it's uh, so depending on on how wide your actual content slider is, um, you're gonna have to adjust for the images. I believe mine right now is like 600, so my images have to be around 300 pixels wide to fill up the entire space and look good. So I'm gonna crop this image out, crop it, and then I can go and save. And then I believe I want to make it a little bit smaller, so we'll scale image. 670. I'm going to change it down to about 350. So we're going to scale that thing down, and I'm going to save it again. Okay. When you actually edit an image, you have to go into. I'm going to save all changes, and now if I refresh the page, this image will get unselected because it's it's a new image now, and I have to go and select it again, save draft, and you're, I know what you're saying is that I'm creating all these revisions, but you know that's just the way it goes. I could add a, a a save button here, but oh well. And now I can preview the content slider again, and that's much better. So now it looks a lot better. And so, uh, as you can see, it's it's very easy to actually add images um, to the content slider. Okay. So the second part of this is actually styling it out, and I'm going to show you what the style sheet looks like. So the the style sheet is located in 
uh, the plugin folder in, a, in another folder called CSS. And there, there's a couple things that you have to look at. So basically, if you look at anything slider is the um, entire content div. Um, you can set this width to 100%, um, I think. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, then actually set it to the area um, that, that you're uh, displaying the, the content slider in. The wrapper is the actual size of the slides. And so this has to be a fixed width. Um, you cannot make this percentage. You can't make this 100% wide. Um, this has to be basically, uh, you have to fiddle with this and make sure because of those buttons that are on the side of the content slider, you have to fiddle with this to get the, the, uh, the slides to line up. If, it's, if you make it too narrow, you will start seeing the next slide. And if you make it too wide, you'll notice that as you click on the next slide, there, there's a, you'll you'll see even more of the previous slide before the next slide shows up. Um, you'll you'll see all these these issues. You just got to tweak it out. Um, and then the the wrapper is actually the same size as the anything slider um, list item. So make sure that your width for the wrapper and the list item are the same. And then the navigation, which is the, the um, tabs for each post and the start stop button, you have to set the top um, attribute the same as the height of um, the wrapper. So you'll notice here that the height is 275. The top, um, the top for the thumb nav and start stop has to be 275 also for it to bump up right against the, uh, the anything slider. And, uh, and basically that's about it. I know if you have trouble with the style sheet, what I do is I always add a border and uh, I'll just set this to, to basically one and then I'll, I'll upload this file. Um, I'm gonna go back and look at the, the content slider again. And you'll notice here that I've added a border around it and that helps me out. Um, I, I, I'll add a border to things that are, are causing problems. And it just, it's kind of a way to, to you know, fiddle with CSS to make sure everything lines up properly. But um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and if you want help with styling it, or if you make a cool style, if you take this plugin and you make a really cool style, let me know. And uh, I'd like to show it off on the website. But uh, thanks for again for trying the plugin.